So my name is Tom Evans and I am a professional runner specialising in distances from 10k to 100 miles. In a typical training week, I'm running for somewhere between 12 and 13 hours. And in a typical strength and conditioning week, I'm doing strength and conditioning for somewhere between 12 and 13 hours. It is a 50-50 split and the strength and conditioning is far more diverse and is more varied than the running is. Um, but yeah, it's a, it is pretty much a 50-50 split week in, week out. I think strength and conditioning is so important in able to improve my running for three main things. Firstly, in order to teach my body to recruit maximum amount of muscle fibers so that when I am running, I'm able to run better because I've got more muscle power behind it. Secondly, in order to be consistent, because I'm making my body more robust and developing my body more, I'm able to, to be able to train more. Thirdly, you come to the end of the race and you're still strong. You're able to hold your body correctly uh, and you're able to keep your form and your mechanics because the race isn't won in the beginning of the race, the race is won at the end. You, you don't win or you don't finish a race until you cross the finish line. And in order to get there, you've still got to be in good shape. For me, every session that I do serves a purpose. And on from that, every exercise I do serves a purpose. So I think for me, my three main exercises that I focus on, firstly, single leg deadlift, single leg straight leg deadlift. This is in order to train my posterior chain. Uh, it also helps your balance. So it really is running related. And for me, it becomes really useful if I'm training for a, a race with lots of climbing in it, because predominantly I'm gonna be using my posterior chain. My second exercise is typical back squat. The reason why I'm mainly doing this is for muscle recruitment and to teach my muscle fibers to fire, particularly from my glutes, because the glutes are gonna be the, is the main muscle group used for running, and I wanna be as powerful as I can through my glutes. And then thirdly, in core exercises that focus particularly on my obliques, teaching my body to be able to stay upright so all my force is moving forwards, with trail running, you're sort of twisting in and out, uh, in between trees and everything, and you want your body to be strong, so all of your force is still going in the right direction. Training from home for endurance sport is, for me, it's a no-brainer, and it's really what's made me be able to reach the next level. You haven't got to break the bank in order to do it. I think, for me, the, the three best bits of kit you can have is a kettlebell, and with that, I would say, somewhere between 25% and 50% of your body weight. I'd then say a barbell uh, and a squat rack. The squat rack, so it's safe for you to be able to train. And weight-wise, going up to a maximum of 125% of your body weight. And you've then got variation to increase and decrease. And then the third thing are resistance bands. Take up absolutely no space. Uh, you can use them wherever you are. You can put them in your car, uh, you can take them to the airport with you um, and it's just bang for buck. You can use it for before training uh, and for strength and conditioning, uh, also for mobility. So yeah, I'd say those are the three most important things. I think for me, it's just accessibility. Being able to maybe increase the amount of sessions I do, but decrease the amount of time each session takes. It gives me that space that actually this is, this is where I train. I know I can mentally, I leave the kitchen, walk through the garage, and I'm in the gym. And I know when I walk through that door, I'm in business. Running doesn't start when I start running. From waking up in the morning and having a coffee to then getting into the gym, doing my mobility exercises, and actually getting into the mindset that you're gonna train and you're going out to achieve something. Everything serves a purpose. And for me, my training starts and finishes in the gym. It hasn't got to be overcomplicated. It hasn't got to be complex. You can go and you can do so much with so little. So the first bit of advice I would say is buy a, get a kettlebell and get some resistance bands. Start your strength and conditioning and after a couple of weeks, I'd be incredibly surprised if you didn't want to increase and expand the kit you've got out.